We have to hate the ones who hate the companions. We have to hate the ones who say that Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman, they left the fold of Islam. We have to hate the ones who curse our mother Aisha radiallahu anha. It is from our religion that we have to hate them for the sake of Allah. We have to hate the places of worship where Allah is, they are committing shirk with Allah. Which times of the year do we have to hate? Christmas. Likes of Christmas. <coughs> the likes of Mawlid and Nabawi. Because it's an innovation in the religion. We have to hate it, not because it makes us feel good, not because we say we're better than them, because it is hated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Likewise Valentine's Day, likewise birthdays, likewise Christmas, likewise Easter, likewise Diwali, likewise Hanukkah, likewise all of these other different festivals where the people increase in their sin, in their transgression, in their shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's not a personal hatred, we hate it because Allah hates that thing. Does everybody understand this brothers? But nowadays, like I said to you, they're trying to erode that away. So when you say, you can, they, and they say, you can wish your uh, neighbor a Merry Christmas, wish him a happy festive season, wish him a happy Easter, wish him this, wish him that. We can celebrate Halloween, forget about the pagan uh, origins of it, who cares? And so there's no hating for the sake of Allah now. We're going to look at mockery and mocking al-Islam and how it is major disbelief. Mocking Islam in any way, shape or form. So somebody mocks the beard. Somebody mocks the niqab or the hijab. Somebody mocks fasting. Somebody mocks the Kaaba or mocks uh, the salah. Anything to do with the religion. If you joke about anything to do with the religion, whether you are serious, whether you know or whether you don't know, you have left the fold of...